Okay, we are going to do a painting today thinking about negative space. A negative space is a space around an object. And we're going to paint in the space of a star for this demonstration. So I have a cutout star right here. And I'm going to go ahead and trace that lightly with my pencil. I'm just holding it down with one hand and tracing along the edge with the other hand. go. It doesn't all meet up, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, when I'm going to paint the negative space around the star, that means I'm going to paint everything around the star, but I'm not going to paint in the star. I'm going to leave that white. So I already have my paint all a little bit wet and woken up here, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to start with some green. And I'll just kind of paint, kind of go out this way as I go. I'm going to keep dipping in water so that my paint doesn't dry and leave a big kind of dry mark. I'm kind of going from the star and going out. I'm going to start switching colors as I go around. So I'm going to grab some blue here. And I'm okay if that mixes. I think it actually might look kind of neat. So I'm being really careful with my hand when I am next to the star shape. But over here I can have a little bit more fun and get a little bit more messy. And loosen my grip up a little bit. I'm going to move to purple here now. And if I feel like my purple is too dark, I can always make it a little bit lighter by adding a little bit more water. And that'll kind of lighten it up and I can spread it out. That's kind of spreading the pigment out. Okay. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to move over to red here. And you'll notice when you're using watercolors, the longer you let the water kind of set in the paint, the more color pigment's going to get loose and the darker your paint's going to look. But right on the page, if it's getting too dark, you can always just dip in water and kind of spread it out and lighten it that way. Orange next. Oh, I look how that's kind of blending in here. I might try and do that for some more of these. Got some yellow here. I'm trying to keep rinsing my brush in between when I'm choosing my colors just so that I can keep my paint palette nice so that if I need yellow, it will be yellow and not a different color. Back to green again. I'm kind of, oh, whoops. I spilled water all over my painting, but that's okay. Let's kind of let that drip off. Well, that looks actually kind of neat. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here. Oh, now it's being more of a wash technique here. Now you can still kind of see what I'm doing and if I really wanted to I could take a paper towel try and soak up that paint that was in the star oh, there we go not a bad piece even with a big mistake at the end like that alright 